Hello everyone, welcome to Arzette, the Jewel of Faramore. This is a very odd game, and I'm quite honestly astonished that it exists. For those unfamiliar, this is a new game based off of the games made on the Philips CDI, which for those whoever, whoever, for anybody that's heard like CDI Zelda, that's what this is specifically mimicking, that same kind of aesthetic. Basically the CDI was like an old piece of tech that was not supposed to be a video game console, but they had video games on it anyway, and Nintendo signed a partnership with them. And uh, yeah, it made a lot of very bad games, and a lot of them usually used like their big push was they used full motion video, which, you know, was usually like some like very badly drawn animations that they would then put on to the game, but the games themselves were usually not very good. But this game is trying to mimic that, and it's apparently good, so very, very interesting. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about as soon as we start, but uh, definitely if you've never seen anything about the CDI games before, it's worth a look into. They're quite an interesting bit of history. But uh, the game did have like a little intro that I'm guessing explains some of the story, so I'll go ahead and show that right here. The kingdom of Faramor knew peace for an age, a beautiful, bountiful land. It has been ruled by the royal Rockland family for generations. Such tranquility could not last. Opposed to this peace was the evil demon lord, Dimer, who amassed an army of evil in an effort to conquer the land and plunge it into eternal darkness. Driven by greed and power, Several defected to Dimer's cause, like Duke Nodelki, lord of the island nation of Amalog. Long battles ensued, with hope fading from the hearts of the people. In a desperate measure, the king and his royal advisor, Wagram, directed an assault upon Dimer's lair in the country of Ocarin. After clearing a path, the Princess Arzette and an unlikely hero, Dale, confronted the Demon King. As Dale distracted Dimer, Arzette, well-versed in both sword fighting and magic, imprisoned the Demon King in the Book of Ocarin, a magical prison controlled by the Jewel of Faramore. Upon Dimer's capture, his dark army was vanquished, ensuring victory for the forces of good. Upon each use, the Jewel of Faramore shatters, Following Dimer's defeat, the king ordered each of the five jewel shards to be guarded at separate locations in perpetuity. After the war's end, the traitorous Duke Nodelki was sentenced to a lifetime of hard labor. Dale retired as a bard on the spoils of his adventure. Princess Arzette continued to train, swearing to uphold what they fought for. To that end, Peace persisted in the kingdom of Faramore for a little over a decade. And there we go. All right. Just wanted to go ahead and show that off because it gives us quite a bit of context of what's going on here. Um, one thing I didn't mention earlier that I probably should mention about the CDI games, and there's one particularly interesting thing about this one. The CDI games were played with basically like a remote, like the controller was a remote, effectively. And uh, if, like, I think later in like November, uh, you if you specifically get this from Limited Run, you can get a remote as your controller if you really, really want to lean into it. Obviously, I'd have to wait for quite a bit to get that, but yeah, it's very funny that they leaned into the joke that hard, so. Uh, multiple difficulties, easy difficulty, health drops are present, weaker enemies, standard difficulty, no health drops. I think we'll go for normal. Ten years of scrubbing floors! Oh yeah. Finding these jewel shards was no easy task, but now... Look at it, and all of its greatness. I have returned! Nodoki, for freeing me, I offer you power. <laughs> yes, Master. Th th thank you. In exchange for thy soul. Uh, of course, Master. Very good. <clears throat> Henceforth, you'll have the power to crush your foes in my name. On to other matters. Master! Master! My 
trusted servants. I am pleased you've not forgotten me. Take each of these shards and guard it with your life so that I may never be imprisoned again. My revenge will be unforgiving. The punishment will be eternal. This kingdom will be mine! <laughs> God, it's so perfect. They lean. This is exactly how the CDI games were. Right here, you're seeing it. Your Majesty, our worst fears have come true. Dimer and his minions have returned. That's impossible. What about the Jewel of Faramore? Oh, our vigilance waned. The Jewel shards are with the enemy. Ah, easy peasy. We just gotta get the Jewel back together and trap him in that old book, right? Uh, if only a dark fog has filled the land. It prevents our approach. Your eyes cannot see daylight out there. What about the sacred beacons? They weakened Dimer before. I'm afraid that due to complacency, they've been left unlit. Wow, you really screwed up. <laughs> oh well, what can we do? Well, as you know, only a member of the royal family can rekindle the beacons. I'm ready. Well, I'm not. Another <laughs> issue. My scouts report sightings of dark tapestries that impede critical paths. Oh, oh. not a problem. My ancestors hid sacred candles throughout the kingdom that can burn these tapestries. That settles it then. Another fun adventure for me to stay out of. Where must I go? I place teleportation scrolls throughout the kingdom that you may use, so long as the dark fog around them has been dispelled. I'll be leaving then. Good luck! Get back before dinner! Be safe, my daughter. God, I have to respect them for leaning into this so Dimer? hard. Let's get started. Move left or right to start running. Yeah. So, if you were wondering what kind of game this is, it's specifically listed as a Metroidvania, which um, I don't think the original games were. The original games were super hard and were more like uh, Zelda 2, I want to say. And then it was a side scroller and you just kind of had to move through levels. Also, usually, well, in most of them, and by most of them, I mean two and three, um, Zelda was actually the protagonist, so. Press jump to leap, jumping into action. God, it's so wild. I, I can't believe this Press game exists. To flash your sword. Hey, you have a smart sword. It interacts with both objects and people. That it seems dangerous. Only those that aren't friendly. Get some bombs by slashing that bag. Will do. So this is going to require a very, very specific... Okay, it didn't, like, get destroyed or anything. It just gave me one. This is going to... You're, you're going to have to appreciate what it's doing here. This is going to be a hard game for a lot of people to watch or consume, I imagine, because it is just... It's intentionally cursed. Press Much... to use items. Try bombing some columns. Let's see, it allows you to use hold items, yeah. It reminds me of like Pizza Tower in how hard they leaned into into the joke, basically. So it's super interesting though, and it's apparently quite Moving good. Up allows you to enter doors and climb ladders. Go in that door. I could not imagine playing this with a mouth with a remote though. You can crouch by moving down. Moving while crouching lets you duck walk. This old trick gets you into tight spaces. Oh, duck walk, huh? Wow, I'm like not even standing on this thing. But yeah, so like, it, it used like a bunch of pre-rendered like backgrounds and stuff, and then you have the animated character, and then of course you have the FMVs. Your magic pouch holds your items. You can select items here, view your quest status, and set options. So much space, huh? Open and close the menu. Yup, that looks like a menu to me. Um, and then... How do I get to the other scrolls, though? It mentioned there were many, many other things I can do. It doesn't look like it'll let me scroll to those right now, though. Yeah, just telling me to open and close the menu. All right. And yeah, the the incredibly cursed voice acting was part of those games as well. Some paths are closed to you until you have the right tools. Keep that in mind while you explore. Yeah. There you go. But God, like I said, I'm just so amazed Never this game exists at all. Open new areas, so be sure to find them. 
Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I do need to go get another bomb, don't I? Alright, hello bomb. Thank you. Appreciate you. Let me get past these columns over here. But if you've never seen someone, like, suffer through the old CDI Zelda games, I recommend you do. It's such an interesting part of Nintendo history. There's other CDI stuff, too. There's, like, a Mario game as well. Um, Teleportation scrolls allow you to exit to the world map quickly. Go ahead, take off! Will do. Well, what are you waiting for? Defeat Dimer and have some fun. I will, thank you. Um, I, I finished the tutorial, yay. All right, <laughs> this character is very clearly supposed to, like, I feel like be reminiscent of Link in the Wand of Gamelon, because in the Wand of Gamelon, Link's so weird. So, Duradin Forest, let's go. Also, this is published by Limited Run Games, so that's why you, uh, you know, that's why if you wait a little bit, you can get the, um, the remote control, like I mentioned. It's so wild. But, yeah, so, gameplay-wise, I think this is gonna, you know, kind of control and play like, you know, a Shantae game would, basically. Which I'm absolutely, absolutely down for, because I love Shantae, so. Um, go away. Boom. At least the enemies all seem, like, they, they do a bunch of damage to me, but I do a bunch of damage to them. One of the main things with, like, the CDI games that makes it really hard for people is, and it's definitely done here intentionally, is, um, sometimes it's hard to tell exactly where you can and cannot jump. <laughs> like, it's intentionally obtuse here, because they are trying to mimic the game before so much, and it's hilarious, because, yeah, some of these platforms, it's hard to tell, like, oh, can I get on that? Can I not get on that? This might actually be hard with, um, the limited- oh, the limited amount of HP that I can get on each screen. And enemies are quite fast, actually. And you take damage quickly. Would be nice if I, like, healed between screens or something, but I don't think it's gonna be that nice. This is, luckily, a fairly short game for anybody that is like, Oh god, this is, like, terrible for my eyes. I... <laughs> I, I can't stand this, or they hate how it looks, or the humor or something. I think it's hilarious, but I can understand people being against it, but it's a fairly short game, and I needed a fairly short game to go in here, so I, I think it's a hilarious fun time, and I was very, very excited to play this one. Uh, so I do need to go up there. We've made it a little bit further, good. So... Question now becomes, do I heal? I do not. Oh boy. Oh boy. So if I die, I'm probably going back. Ooh, that didn't do a full heart? Interesting. This is very interesting. Get out of here, cockatrice. Okay, it's dead. What is that? A key? Um Die. Let's see. To get over here, I need to do this. Okay, I got a key. Getting up here is kind of scary. I don't want to die to this jerk, obviously. So what does this do? I'm like... Do I keep going up a little bit higher? Does that go out to the map? I thought it said the scrolls went out to the map. Maybe the scroll does something different? I've got to try it. Close all the doors? Oh my god, it's a mini game? Um... So... Close that, and then... Go up a level? Wow, this is like a... Donkey Kong Country style minigame. How weird. Okay. I might actually be able to do it. Oh wait, close that one. Up. And then close you. Those are all closed, right? Oh my god, no, no, there's one down there. I missed one. No. Time's up. I missed one. I completely missed that. No. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what I would have gotten as a reward for that. But, uh, the dream is dead. Um, I can't drop through platforms, so I'm not totally sure I can even get that. That's one of the candles that I need, right? Yeah, we can't destroy that. Can't do it with, like, a bomb, can we? Nope, doesn't look like that works either. Alright, this is definitely a door I can go into. Hi. God, this is gonna be a- Oh, great, they finally sent someone to kill me. 
All right, make it snappy. I'm sure you got places to go, other people to kill. Uh, no. Who would do that? Oh, my name is Cypress. I want to move into town, but the mayor thinks I'm a monster man. I don't think that. Really? You don't think I'm a disgusting, rabid nut? You think you could convince the mayor to let me move in then and stop thinking I'm the wolf among us? If you do, this old lantern is yours! Oh, thank you. Can you get it away from the camera, please? No, I don't need that. Speak with the mayor to help him and you'll get the lantern. Important quests like these are logged on your quest screen, so check it if you get lost. Okay, and then now it shows me my quest screen. Okay, so... Find and use these to burn barriers that block critical paths, and Cypress promised you a mayor, a lantern if you talk to the town mayor. God, this game is wild. I attacked you when I first came out here. I really thought you were going to be an enemy, so I'm sorry about that, friend. But you can clearly see we'll need to come back with different things as we progress through the game here. Okay, so it does respawn me on this screen. We do not have to restart the entire level. It is on a per screen basis, so... That makes my life a lot easier. It's not like I go back to the beginning. If this was old CDI, I would go back to the beginning. <laughs> and it would be a massive, massive pain. So, alrighty. Let's just continue on our merry way, now that we know a little bit more about how everything works. Go away. I do just have to watch my HP and be a bit more careful with it, I think. Interesting that you only do half a heart. Ooh, they have checkpoints. Okay, that's nice. That's good to know, too. What about up here? But yeah, I think effectively this game is going to be a Metroidvania. We can already see that I need, like, candles in this area that we'll have to come back and get to access some stuff. So, you know. There, there, there will be a lot of running around going back in the previous areas. And some of that, depending on what it is, might even be things that I, you know, cut out. Because, oh yeah, we've seen this before and things like that. So it'll probably be a pretty fast playthrough. And I think it's hilarious and such a delight that I want it on the channel. There we go, it's dead. There was another path down there. Did I have, like, a map? I feel like I want a map of the area to know what I may or may not be missing. Because I'm going up into this tree, but there was another thing down there. Oh. Oh, that's one of the beacons. Dunzo. I did it! Look at me! Golly! It's our Zet! Oh, God. Oh, oh! You've already lit a beacon! I doubt the rest will be that easy. Any new info? Mm, indeed. My scouts have reported blockades enchanted with color magic. How am I supposed to get through them? You'll need a tool that can fire magic of the same color. There we go. Great. Something else I have to find. <laughs> Careful, Arzy. Don't get red in the face. <laughs> Ugh. Tell me there's only one color to deal with. No, we already saw two. Mm, to my knowledge, <laughs> there are three types of color magic. <sighs> Don't look so blue, princess. I'm going back now. <laughs> <laughs> the hatred that she had when she stared there. Yeah, Gil's the worst. I'm with you. I'm with you. Believe me, Arzette. Okay, so here's our here's our places. Hold X for legend. Hidden coin found. Point of interest. Beacon lit. All candles found. Hidden coin found. All items collected. Jewel shard found. Okay, that's cool. So it does tell me, like, what I still need to get. And this is telling me, hey, there's a point of interest over here. How nice. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. God, the I I I'm just I'm just, I will always be in complete and utter shock that this exists at all. It you have no idea how wild it is. I hope people that know about the CDI games appreciate this as much as me. <laughs> Hello, nice Lance. I declare this the safest place in the land. And rabble rousers and mischief makers have no quarter with me. The crown is ever grateful for your service. Anything to report? Rumors speak of strange scrolls that allow you to teleport to special areas. Special areas? Yeah, that Places one I went to. Test your metal and reward you with riches. 
Oh, if I could teleport, I'd find these scrolls and... <laughs> halt, ne'er-do-wella! Oh my god, those kids look scary. Hello, who are you? Mayor, please grant Cypress Town citizenship. That beastly brute! That snivelly hound! Ugh. Here in my polka demon? Never! You know, my smart sword doesn't hurt friendly folks. You're not being very friendly. Citizenship to Mr. Cypress <laughs> Ahoy, hoy! Thank you, Arzette. Just just threatening the mayor with murder to get what we want. Uh, papers of great citizenship signed by the mayor. Bring these to Cyprus. Press anything to continue. Alrighty. Oh my god. Hello. I got 115 dollar dues. Uh, lamp oil? I... that that's probably gonna be there once I get the lamp. Mortar scrolls? You struck luck, my friend. These wares aren't elsewhere. My goods will improve your fortunes, so long as you improve mine. God, it's amazing how well of a job they did mimicking the art and everything of those games. It's so cool. Alright, what do we got over here? Ooh, this is the blacksmith. If you ever need something special done with that little sword of yours, just find, I'll give it a shellac. <laughs> God, you look so terrible, friend. I want to interact with you as little as possible. Isn't the world just so bleak? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it is! Oh, I resolve to see all colors. Not just what these puny eyes can show me. I will alchemize these shrimp goggles. You'll see. Or rather, I'll see. <laughs> Arzette is just so incredibly done with everyone here. So that probably means I need to get all of the colors, all the magic colors, right? I imagine so. All right, and then over here to the left, there's not much of anything. I can't believe I missed that one door in the mini game. I was freaking out because I was low on time, but we can go back in there and get it anytime we want, basically. I can do that right now if I want. We'll see how much more town we got left. That's locked. A bunch of keys up here. At ease, Univor. Did I surprise you? The good kind of surprise. Not like running out of supplies. You don't want to be caught without a bomb in a hard place. I'll remember that. Keep up the good work. Yes, princess. I surely... Oh my god, you cracked my screen. My monitor. I just got this. <laughs> this... <laughs> God, this takes me back to a time when, like, commercials and shit were like this. They were this awkward. <laughs> and games in general. Ugh. Isn't that a thing of beauty? I mean, no, it's not, but... <laughs> uh, I can't attack that. I can attack hey, you, though. one on the house, princess? No, thank you. Say, that's a smith's anvil behind you, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. I was a great blacksmith in a past life. I dreamed of forging the ultimate weapon. But alas, those days are gone. Please, go on. Well, this dream weapon needs refined chains and sacred oil. Problem is, they're impossible to get. The oil's kept by some unbeatable wizard in a dungeon, and I have no idea about the chains. I'd go investigate it myself, but you know, I am but a mere small, timid man. A great big muscular warrior is what we need. Hmm. Well, I'll get the oil and find the chains for you. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't ask. Yes, but you're not asking. I will do this. Anything else? Oh, here's the key to the dungeon with the oil. Good luck with that. How'd you hold My that? My only tip <laughs> is to help folks in need. That'll probably steer you on the right path. God. <laughs> Hello. Okay, a few more characters to interact with. This this person over here is guzzling beer. Hey, look everyone! It's the princess! Oh my I'm gosh. I'm pretty sure they can see me. Yeah, but you always gotta be mindful of what's around you. If you see anything nasty coming your way, you gotta knock it away with your weapon. <laughs> Never speak to me again. I hope you don't come back as a character. Mm, 
you got an eye for beauty, don't you? I suppose. I lost my husband in the war. He was turned into a creature, got bombed. Boom! <laughs> Shook the whole room, I tell you. He never gave me the jewelry I wanted. Bring me something starry, will ya? In return, I have something to quench your thirst. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, cool. I bring you jewelry and you will give me alcohol. Great. Thank you. Or a potion. You know, it's not, it's not technically going to be alcohol. Ooh, bomb wall. Hey, what's in here? It's a rat. Howdy there, stranger. I take it you're on a quest. Right. Apologies for the hole. Oh, oh, no worries about that. I could use a little sunshine in here anyway. <laughs> if you dig it further down, maybe I can finally get some plumbing in here too. Ugh. You know, an adventurer has got to explore all curiosities. Curiosities? Yeah. Crack walls. Strange spaces. Investigate them. Of course, you don't seem to be afraid of throwing those bombs. I once even heard of a hero finding a cooked turkey leg in a wall. Yeah, in Castlevania. Season to perfection, the legend says. Yeah, you might even find a few coins hidden away by portly old fools. Keep your eyes peeled, you hear? Thanks. I'll do my best. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, you seem cool. Alright, thank you. Um, I wish I could give you your plumbing, friend, but, uh, unfortunately, I, I don't- I don't think I can. I'm gonna get on top of this roof, though, and see if there's anything up here. Oh my god, there's a second... level. I got a key, at least. Does the key open this? It sure does. Which gets me up here. There's a lot to explore, my god. Okay, but I need... Yeah, I need stuff before I can do anything else with this. Alright, I guess with that we'll go back to uh, the map, and yeah, it's telling me, yeah, there's stuff that I need to go there, so... These appear to be our four levels. We might have, like, a final zone once we collect all the things. But, uh... Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess that's the start of RZ and the Jewel of Faramore, I believe it was called. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you next time with some more.